Yes, uh, my name is Marshall Waller. I'm a certified family law specialist uh, with principal offices in Calabasas and Beverly Hills, California. Could you describe what a family law attorney does for us, please? To I the can. People. I've been doing this for about 35 years, and the short answer is a family law attorney helps families in crisis. And I think that's a great perspective for family law attorneys to have. I'm not here to necessarily win. I'm here to help the family resolve their problems, get through this system, and in a perfect world, after a divorce and after a custody battle, if there is one, mom and dad years later can sit next to each other and dance at their children's wedding without wanting to kill each other. What do you like most about your practice? What I like most about my practice is that I have been given the opportunity to help people as they're going through a, a critical, very difficult situation. You know, on the, on the, the ladder, the hierarchy of bad things, you've got uh, death and divorce are right next to each other. Mm -hmm. And if I can help a family get through that or help a child get through that, that is fantastic. I, I worked on a case very early in my career and it was a very difficult case, a lot of abuse of this child. And about three years later, I got a letter from the mom because we were able to get custody and she said to me, you literally saved my child's life. And I can't imagine anything that I do as an attorney better than that. What was the hardest thing for you when you first started out in family law? Uh, one of the hardest things for me when I first started out in family law was becoming comfortable with admitting that I didn't know everything. And I was in court once after a few years of practice. The judge asked me a question and, and I felt that I had to always have the answer whenever anybody asked me anything because I'm a lawyer and we're supposed to have the answers. And I was a little vapor locked and I looked at the judge and I said, I don't know the answer to that question. And he said, neither do I. We should probably <laughs> try to figure that out. And all of a sudden, it's like the clouds parted and I realized it's okay to not know everything because you have a huge set of resources to help you figure it all out. That and getting clients. That, that's a, a, that was one of the hardest things okay. as well, was trying to figure out how to, how to expand my practice. Can you tell us what an, a typical day looks like for you in your practice? Well, I either have court days or non-court days. Mm -hmm. My court days are basically the same as any other trial attorney's days. We go to court, we do our thing, we make our arguments, uh, we question witnesses, pretty much like any other regular civil trial. Mm -hmm. The non-court days are typically uh, reviewing emails, dealing with you know, letters, pending matters, preparing briefs, points and authorities, interviewing potential clients, meeting with existing clients, uh, instructing associate attorneys, supervising their work, uh, things like that. It's, it, it's, uh, my days usually start around 7 in the morning and they usually end around 6.30 or 7 at night. And because I have a lot of clients who live overseas, mm -hmm. I'm usually on the phone between 10 at night and 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning uh, a couple of times a week. And what advice would you give to a lawyer looking to get into family law or a law student? I would, I would encourage you to do it. If you like helping people, if you're comfortable helping people, if you handle frustration well, uh, I would recommend to you family law as a great opportunity to develop your interpersonal skills, to learn how to help people. I would encourage you to find somebody who can mentor you through, mentor you through this process. There are lots of people who will do that. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of resources. Don't be afraid to ask older attorneys, more experienced attorneys, how to do something. Don't be afraid to be embarrassed to say, I don't know how to do this. Because I guarantee you, every single lawyer at one time in their life did not know how to do something, including the judges. So it's perfectly okay to not know how. What's wrong is to not learn how. So don't be afraid to do that because it'll open up a, a lot of doors for you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.